Welcome to Altar Live. We're bringing engagement back to church. Altar Live is based around three major components, events, meetings, and rooms. Events in Altar Live are different than other platforms in many ways, but one major one is that you can have synchronous events in the same community, meaning that you can have two, three, or more events happening at the same time. Events are different than meetings and rooms in that there is always some sort of streaming component, whether that is a live stream, a simulated live stream, or a pre-recorded video. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to create both one-time and recurring events. Let's get started. First off, only members with admin access can create, edit, or delete events in your community. And during this process, you can always hit the back button to go back to a previous menu. You can also click Save as Draft to come back to your creation later. It appears as a draft only to admins and is invisible to everyone else. Log in to your community dashboard and click Create an Event. You will now see all six steps needed to create this event. Start with an event name and a small description of the event itself, which will display on your community landing page and will let your members know what your event is all about. You can also choose a thumbnail image, which will appear on your community landing page. Choose the date, starting time, and ending time. Note that the start time is not when your event itself starts, but when your pre-recorded video or your live stream actually start. Your people are more than welcome to arrive at the event before the start time. You can also make this event a recurring event on a daily, weekly, or custom schedule. Click Featured Event at the bottom to make this event get top billing on your community landing page. This will be one of the first things your members see when they log into your page. Click Next to move to the team page, where you can now add your hospitality team as greeters or as hosts. The hospitality team can greet non-logged in viewers with this preset greeting and they can chat with both general viewers as well as logged in members. This team is vital to engagement in your church. You can also give your greeters host privileges, which gives them the ability to start and end the event as well as move the event between the lobby view and the auditorium view. Clicking next will give you options to set permissions on who can join your event. Selecting anyone allows anyone with a link to join the event. Selecting all members makes your event private and only allows those who have created an account with your community in Alter Live. Choosing selected members only allows those which you have selected beforehand to be in the event. This is useful for small group gatherings, Bible studies, and any general meetings. Next, you will link your stream. Alter Live supports three main types of streams, live streams, simulated live streams, and pre-recorded videos. Live videos happen in real time and typically cannot be paused, rewound, or fast forwarded. Simulated live events are pre-recorded videos, but are streamed like live events, much like a YouTube premiere. Pre-recorded videos can be paused and skimmed just like a YouTube video. Connecting streams is the same for each provider. Click the icon of your provider and paste your stream or video link. Alter Live also has the ability to handle custom RTMP links, which can link your streaming software and allow you to multicast to your Facebook and YouTube channels. For more specific information on stream setups, click the links on the page. Once your stream is set up, click Next to set up any pre-event slides you would like to be displayed. These are typically used as announcements for your church for those that show up early to the event. Your images can be easily uploaded and the speed of your slide rotation can be chosen. Clicking Next will take you to your very last option, 
rooms. Watch our other tutorial videos to see how to utilize rooms effectively, but think of these as larger breakout areas with more than the normal four seats in a row or a table. Click Add New Room, type your room name, and enter a short description of what your room is. You can also select the maximum amount of people that you would like to join each room. Now that your event is ready to go, you can either save it as a draft to come back to later or publish the event. Your event has now been successfully created and you can come back to edit it whenever you need to. And that's all there is to it. If you need any more help, you can always visit our help center at alterlive.com/support. Thanks for watching.